Okay, we're here at Sepang Circuit, just past eight thirty in the morning, for the new Perdua electric car driving experience. Shamo, very soon. An EV that meets that meets global standards and is affordable for many Malaysians. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister Dr. Sheikh Ibrahim, in his recent visit to our plant, described that this project has a national agenda and that meant a lot to us. To us, national agenda means that this project would have a significant impact to the country's economy by strengthening the auto industry's ecosystem, by creating new employment and by driving local innovation in the future of EV in Malaysia. We are also working closely with government agencies implementing policies and national aspirations such as the IR 4.0 Sustainable Development Goal SDGs EV Development Policy as well as the Battery Passport Policy. Uh, yang berbahagia Datuk Sri Zainal, Presiden Perdua Presiden and CEO, Mr. Masaki Okita, uh, President Perdua Auto Corporation. Yang berbahagia Datuk Ahmad Suhaimi, uh, Vice President Perdua Auto Corporation. Yang berbahagia Datuk Rosman Jaafar, Chief Operating Officer, Top Management of Perdua. Uh, respected members of media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much for, for you coming here today and for your interest in test driving our first EV. Uh, okay, now we start eh? uh, with the overview of the market overview on the progress sale performance and XEV sale performance. But topic two is important on the why we built this car. It's about realizing the government's mandate. I've explained later. Make it lower initial stage localization and may have direct impact to the OTR. So we need to increase localization as we go through our along. So here from 52 supplies, we target to 66 next year and above 69 or 70 by 20. Caliper platform uh, can be uh, due for, can be multiple body, side, uh, body types can be uh, integrated in this platform, both A and B uh, segment uh, size. And with a few tweaks on the platform, we can accommodate on the hybrid and REEV. For the battery and motor, first I touch on the motor. The motor power is 150 kilowatt, uh, giving a torque of 285 newton meter. Whoa. But for the acceleration, from zero to hundred, around 7.5 second under sports mode. <laughs> Speed itself 165 kilometer per hour. Thanks. Rotary gear shift knob. Digital rear view mirror for our driver's seat. Display 10.25 in order to get a feeling of ice and also fully connected and ambient lighting. We go wireless this time. Wireless phone charger, wireless Android auto. Uh, two spoke flat bottom on the steering wheel. TPMS and this is the additional safety. SOS button uh, for SOS call and also child presence detection. We are a bit warm on this one. Next. CPD. So let's take a closer look at this all new electric car. First for Perdua. Developed with the Magnus Tire Company, the platform. There's a power train. Most of the power train, the batteries at the back, of course. Some elements of the concept car is here. Atlas tires. Oh, hidden door handles. Oh, so this is the engine. Okay, rear sloping roof line, which means fastback design. So, this is the other color choice. Easily a long lasting design language. And this is completely done in-house by Perdua. 
So this is the batch for it right now. Large enough boot. Charging cable, tie sealant. So no spare tire. Tie sealant instead. Integrated rear spoiler, red light, slightly flat arches. Two one five fifty eighteen tires. Okay, we just finished test driving the new Perdua electric car and it's quite impressive, quick and now a very famous influencer is going to be taking over our place to test drive this car. He's going to take it. So this will be the next best-selling electric car in Malaysia from Perdua. Perdua's first effort as an electric car and you don't own the battery. The battery is owned by Perdua. You're leasing the battery. The size of this car is, I would say very close to, hmm, let me see, Ford Focus. But with the sloping rear end, Rear headroom is slightly restricted for basketball players, but three large adults can sit at the back because the car is wide. So there's space in, in the rear. Flush door handles. Problem is flush door handles have become a little bit of an issue with a lot of car manufacturers. So don't know whether that will go or stay. Very modern looking front. 18 inch wheels riding on Atlas tires which come from China because there's no local supplier for these specialized EV tires. So when you talk about the interior, the first thing people are going to ask you is why is it that size because a lot of people prefer the larger interior larger screens but this has got a smaller screen rotary knob space at the bottom there some physical buttons there physical buttons on the steering wheel but the driver's screen is uh, complete completely I mean everything is there the user screen might be the issue because people like big screens for the users Rear leg room is very good. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Then you got the typical tapau hook here. Something to see through here. Two charging pots. And then now you got a better look at the screen. Rotary knob for your gear shifter. And your rear view mirror is a screen and camera. Pretty well equipped. Safety features are very high. Now it's all down to price. 